Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm in London with my friend Kim. Neuenhaus. Neuenhaus. It just, I want to pronounce it. Neuenhuis. Today, we are going to Budapest, Hungary. I've never been to Hungary, but I'm hungry for adventure. I can't believe I just that. Let's go to the airport. It's 5 in the morning. I haven't slept yet. <laughs> adventure just started, and I realized, even though I love my boots, my toe is in some pain, so I had to switch shoes. Let's not be late. Let's go. This is always the issue I have when I have to take a train out of London. Is it St. Pancras International or King's Cross that goes domestics? Because we're taking it to Luton Airport. I think it's King's Cross. King's Cross is going to Luton. Yeah. Whereas St. Pancras is called International because it's... Okay. Well, at least I got that bit of deliberation on camera. Turns out it is not King's Cross. It's St. Pancras International. I get them confused every time. I'm literally like, for some reason, so alive. I've had no sleep and uh, feeling really good. <laughs> oh, somewhere to go, man. Oh yeah, we're late. <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> we got 15 minutes to board the flight. I mean, that's great. We just gotta get through security. <laughs> oh man. I so it's good about Wizz Air. It's for five extra pounds. You can get priority boarding, which means you get to board a little bit, a little bit earlier. And also you get an extra bag, and since I have two bags, not just one, nice to have for five pounds. We made it to the flight, hasn't boarded yet. Uh, flight's gonna be delayed, and they charge me 40 pounds for my, um... <laughs> for the old man. For my check-in size so luggage. It's massive. Compared to Kim. It's massive. It's only 20 inches. 20 inches. How long is this flight? An hour and a half? Two hours? I don't know. I really hope it's not longer than two hours. You're hungry. I'm so hungry. Essentially, the name of my drone is Legolas, and so I thought my drone was on because there he is. Legolas pops up. But it's just a coincidence. Someone else has Treebeard. So Lord of the Rings fans just got a Wi Fi network on this plane right now. Oh man. Feeling that snow. That's good snow. <laughs> so just got our little uh, metro and train ticket here. It's got a little game of Sudoku on it. I mean, not actually, but uh, <laughs> looks fun. Now I'm going to go back to our hostel. Don't, it's too early to check in, so I looked up a really good place for soup and sandwiches. It's supposed to be like really good Hungarian street food. Let's hope for the best. You know, one thing Hungary does do well, these escalators are like high speed yeah. motorways here, like... I almost lost the leg. Like, this is, these are very quick. If London did this, we'd, we'd get around a lot faster. Well, I definitely think this is quick. Like, <laughs> that's fast. They, okay, believe me, this is at least like two times speed, okay? Where do you take your favorite ships to store them? I don't know, Evan. The OTP bank! Oh, I thought you meant like boats? Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> So my first food of the trip and the day is a Barack Obama sandwich. It's like grilled cheese with pulled pork and apricot from the uh, the Boar's Gastro Bar. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. I'm so happy I have food. successfully flew the drone around for a bit, which was really nice, except it is so cold, my fingertips started hurting. And also, I got told by the drone to stop flying because of a wind advisory. Wind was very strong, probably why it was so cold. So, just to be safe, stop flying, I'll have to come back out tomorrow. We made it back to our hostel bar. And the good thing about Budapest is that everything, food and drink, is incredibly cheap. This glass of wine, a deciliter, was less than a pound. Whoa, that is four times cheaper than London. Anyway, I'm now back at the hostel and I'm not really that tired because I took that, that giant four hour nap, but I'm gonna go to sleep, try and 
set my clock straight, and then wake up pretty early, hopefully see the sunrise tomorrow. That'll be really nice. Maybe it won't be as cold, doubt it. Get some better shots of the drone, hopefully less wind. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my first travel vlog from Budapest. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can do the, do the liking stuff, subscribe, and make new travel vlogs every time I travel. Tomorrow, doing lots of cool stuff. I'm going to Prague in two days, so see you guys then. Goodbye.